Hello and welcome to Microsoft Power Tools channel where you learn everything about analytics, automation and productivity. Most of the time when you create a schedule cloud flow, you don't want them to run forever. You have a stop date in mind. Conventionally, it's either you turn it off on your mobile app or you log in back to the Power Automate platform and then put it off. Let's consider a use case and we then show you how to automatically stop a schedule cloud flow in Power Automate. Microsoft Power Night is an event that often, you know, I carry out every two two weeks. The goal of the event is to teach Microsoft 365 applications and services, as well as Power Automate, Power Apps, Power BI, and Power Virtual Agent for collaboration, automation, and improved productivity. In that case, for everyone that registered for the event, I want to send them a reminder. Remind my participants about the event, which is very functional. But after the event has passed, the reminder is no longer useful. I have to go back and turn off my schedule cloud flow. What if I can set it, I can set a date that whenever that date is reached, the flow should be turned off. And that is exactly what we want to do here. Here's an assumption. First, let's assume the current date is June 2, 2021. Why am I making this assumption? So that I can turn off the flow in this video. I don't want to wait till a particular day. When we test it, we're going to set the date the flow should be turned off to today. And that way we can see the flow being turned off. By the way, today, June 14, is also another edition of Microsoft Power Night, where I'm going to host it by 12 noon on my YouTube channel and show you how to leverage on Office 365 uh, forms, leverage on Power Automate and OneDrive to create an experience where people outside your organization can fill a form and still be able to add attachment. All right, we're going to see that in that session. But let's get back to our use case here. So the assumption is that today's date is June 2nd, 2021. So we have to create a schedule cloud flow that send a reminder to, these people, to those people that have registered for the event. What are the major tasks here? Let the start date be June 2nd, 2021, 10 a.m. And actually, we get familiar by this start date when we create one. Then the frequency should be every three days. Then the stop date should be June 14, 2021. Okay. Sadly, when you are configuring a schedule cloud flow, there is the start date, there is the frequency, but there is no stop date. Okay. Let's log in to Power Automate Portal and create this flow and set automatically a date that the flow should stop running. Right now, I'm back to my Power Automate portal. I'm going to go straight to Schedule Cloud Flow and click on it. I have to set, put a name, flow name, reminder, MS Power Night. When should this start running? Don't forget, we just want to set June 2nd and should start running 10 a.m. How frequent? That's going to be every three days. I'm going to choose three. So every three days, this flow will run. All right. What do I want to do whenever this is being triggered? By the way, this is the trigger. First thing is I want to read the details, the email of this people from my from my OneDrive. I have it stored in one Excel, so I already have an Excel on my OneDrive. So I want to click on list rows. It's called list rows present in a table, and this table is in an Excel online for business. Okay, where's the location? Is on my OneDrive. I'm going to choose OneDrive for business. What's the document library? It's OneDrive. Then where's the file? I'm going to use this show picker to select the file. I can see Microsoft Power Night event reminder. What is the table name? I have a table there, table one. All right. So I've been able to select this. The next is to send email to these people. I'm going to send an email. And I'm going to use Office 365 Outlook to do that. Right. So who am I sending this to? I will click on my dynamic content, select dynamic content to use employee email. That is the table on my Excel that I want to use. It's going to pull it in apply to each because it is sending to as many emails as many people that are on that Excel, Excel sheet. So um, on table, the subject is um, reminder MS Power Night. Okay, then how about the body of the email there? I want to call them their name there because I have name as well. So I'm going to put full name. 
comma. So I've been able to customize the content that I want to send to the participants. Please be reminded of the next edition of Microsoft Power Night. I put the details, the topic we're dealing with, the date, the time, and the venue. See you there. Don't forget to always set your mail importance at least to normal. Otherwise, it's going to be sent with low importance. So now that I have this, this flow will start running. So now that I'm done customizing my message to all the participants, it is time to determine when this flow should stop running. I'm going to do that by adding a condition, new step. I'm going to make that a condition. So I want to set the date time. So whenever the date time, uh, the date is equal to the day that I want this to flow to stop running. What that means is every day, every three, three days, the flow will be running. And when it's done sending that email, it's going to check. Is the day equals to the day the flow run? Is it equals to the date that I've set as my stop date? If yes, then it should stop this flow meaning turn it off, otherwise continue to run. So you need to know your time zone. Here I'm from GMT plus one. So UTC now is just going to give me GMT. And that's going to be yesterday because this is just middle of the night. I'm into a new day now and it's not up to an hour. So it's going to be as a yesterday. So for me, I'm going to just run. Uh, I'm going to create an expression that gives me today's date. Read it. I'm going to go to expression and locate time now there is time there is time yeah date and time i'm going to click on see more you see add this you can add this yeah add this i'm going to click on that what am i adding i'm the first day is utc now and i want to add how many hours rather oops i need to add add hours so it is actually add hours yep it is add hours and how many hours am i adding utc1 is gmt nigeria where i'm recording this from is gmt plus one so i just need to add one hour and what format do i want the date to be returned i'm going to put it in a string and that is the day slash mm in capital letter and wow well, well, i just need the month yeah i don't need the year in four digits i don't need 2021 i just need 21 i'm going to click on okay so the expression is right here now and I want to shoot, I want to evaluate if that is equals to day, which is 14 slash 06 slash 21, which is today. Make sure you save your flow. I'm going to save my flow right now. Otherwise, you will not be able to see the flow when you are trying to turn it off. So the next step here is to add an action. And this action, I'm going to call it turn off flow. So I'm going to scroll through to check that to see that particular action card this is it turn off flow is from power automate management i'm going to click on it it's asking me to select my environment i'm currently in ms power t then i'm going to click here then select my environment then it will load automatically all my flows in that environment so i have all the flows i have there and i'm looking for reminder ms power night reminder ms power night all right so let me save again what we've done now, we've configured our flow. Every from June 2nd, start running, and every three, three days, continue to run. And at every run attempt, it will retrieve all the details in this list. It will go ahead and send them email reminder, which I've customized, and at the same time, check if the day the flow ran is equal to this date. Otherwise, if it is yes, it's going to turn off the flow. Otherwise, don't turn it off, so you'll be able to run another time because the trigger will still work right but because today is 14th and it's also 14 by this expression that i've added i'm going to test this flow right now it's going to run and you will see that the flow will be turned off the flow is running right now and it runs successfully so let me go back to my flows and see if the flow is still active. Wow, the flow is still active here, but let me refresh. As you can see, I just refreshed and I realized the flow has been turned off automatically. And that is what we want to achieve. If I click on it, you will see notification right there that this flow, there's a potential problem with this flow. To see more details, open flow checker. And if I open flow checker, I'm going to see the warning, this flow is off. So. It's going to stop that day.
And any day you need to set it again, go back a bit and set the stop date. Then you keep running. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like my YouTube channel and also subscribe for you to get more updates on video like this as well as my event, Microsoft Power Night, where you get to learn how to build consumable business use cases on Power Automate as well as Power Platform tools generally. Thank you and bye for now.